hello and welcome students today we are going to learn about the next important topic called as the uh, somatic structure that is called as general characteristics of fungi in that we discuss about the definition of fungus somatic structure of fungus <coughs> types of fungal thallus or thalli then fungal tissue and the modification of thallus okay so let us see one by one in that we already discuss about the general characteristics of fungi and the definition of fungi okay so next we discuss about the important point modification of hypa in fungi okay so as we know that the different uh, modification of fungi we have we have mentioned here mentioned here <coughs> here the modification of hypa that means what the fung hypa that modify itself or the fungus fungus that changes its structure or its own structure itself due to certain unfavorable environmental condition that means if in the environment favorable condition is not arise so at that time what happens here that modi uh, that fungi modify itself okay so which are the modifications first one is plectenchyma rhizomorph sclerotium stromata pseudosclerotium or pseudosclerotia then aprosorium and hostorium okay so these are the seven modification of fungi we have to mention here so first we discuss about the first the definition of fungus in that so we already discuss about the definition of fungi so again we discuss in brief so it is defined as the eukaryotic nucleated uh, <coughs> dipore bearing a chlorophyllous organism generally produced by asexual and sexual method and whose filamentous if branched the somatic structure is generally covered by the cell wall and the cell wall is made up of chitin and cellulose so as we know that eukaryotic means all the microorganism which is present inside the fungus tissue so all that microorganism like endoplasmic reticulum golgi bodies then vacuoles okay all that materials are well developed okay then nucleated okay then dipore bearing a chlorophyll that means absence of chlorophyll uh, absence of chlorophyll and it is made up of or it is produced by the asexual and sexual method as we already discussed about that and lastly as we know that the cell wall of fungi is made up of chitin or cellulose okay so here we discuss one by one next one here somatic structures or what are the modification of the fungus first one is hostorium so in flowering plant parasite or phenerogamic plant parasite in that topic we already discuss about the what is mean by hostorium and aprosorium also so as we know that the hostorium here it is mentioned hostorium is nothing but here it is specialized projection or root like branch of organ of parasite that penetrate the host tissue and absorb the nutrient and water from the host cell so as we know that here it is the outgrowth of the fungus which is penetrated inside the host cell and that hostorium it absorb the nutrient and water from the uh, plant host cell so hostorium is called as an the absorbing organ it absorb the nutrient water and food material from the host cell okay so this is called as an the hostorium that is it is called as an absorbing organ next one is the aprosorium so as we know that these are the localized swelling of the tip of germ tube or older hypi that develop in response to contact with the host in short what is meant by aprosoria in simple this these are the special structure of attachment in early stages of the infection so let us see here the aprosorium as means so in case of rust fungi here it is mentioned erodespore and from that erodespore it is an initial organ of the fungi that comes in contact with the host so that initial organ of the fungi which is comes in contact with the host surface it is called as aprosorium okay the next one is the types of fungal thalli or the thallus so as you know that what is meant by thallus so thallus means it is the body of the or it is the whole body of the fungi without root stem and leaves so what is meant by thallus again 
it is the whole body of the fungus without root stem and leaves so it is called as an thalli so thalli are divided into two parts first one is homothallic fungi and second one is the heterothallic fungi okay so homothallic fungi means what if the male and female sex organ of the fungi or both the gametes are produced on the same thallus that means on the same body of the fungus when male and female sex organs are produced okay so it is called as an homothallic fungi okay so homo means same okay next one is the heterothallic fungi so hetero means different so if male and female sex organ or both the gametes are produced on the different thallus or different sexual or different fungal structure then it is called as an heterothallic fungus for example rust fungi so they having the different mating types or different types of the fungal structure so it is called as an heterothallic fungi next one is the fungal tissue okay so fungal tissue is modified into the plectin chyma so what is mean by plectin chyma during certain stages of fungal development the mycelium become organized into loosely or compact woven tissue as against the loose hypi that means the loose hypi ordinarily found in the mycelium the organized tissue mycelium the organized tissue is called as plectin chyma that means what during the growth of the fungus some of the fungus that are aggregated or clump into the simple structure just like in the compact woven mass of the tissue so that structure is called as in the plectin chyma okay the next one is the here after that plectin chyma here the uh, plectin chyma it's having the two parts or two types first one is pseudo parent chyma and next one is prosent chyma so pseudo parent chyma means what in the fructification of higher fungi that is means during the development of higher fungi the hypa become woven and intertwined into the compact mass that means as we know that in the picture the hypa single hypa or number of hypa that are grouped together and they make a clump or compact mass so it is that structure is called as an the pseudo parent chyma then prosent chyma means what it is rather a loosely woven tissue of hypi the hypi composing it do not lose their identity they run more or less parallel to one another and composed of elongated cells that means the the elongated hypi that are comes in contact with each other and they are parallel to each other when such a aggregation or when such a structure of that hypi is formed then it looks like the uh, oven or just just it look like the parallel to each other that uh, tissue so it is called as an prosen chyma that woven tissue is called as an prosen chyma and shudon cap shudo parent chyma means what it is the some like somewhat uh, circular or globular structure and prosen chyma that are elongated and parallel to each other okay the next one is their modification of mycelium or the thallus it is very important point so why the mycelium or fungi modify itself or why they are modified itself first one is the rhizomorph okay so rhizomorph means was it in in uh, rhizomorph means what it is a thread like or cord like structure in fungi which is made up of parallel hypi branched tubular filamentous that makes up the body of typical fungus so rhizomorph acts as a absorbing and translocate translation organ okay so in simple okay simple means rhizome means root like okay rhizomorph means what root like structure of the hypi so the root like structure of the hypi which is present in fungi which is responsible for absorption of the nutrient so as in in picture uh, we can clearly see that the uh, loosen hypi or the whitish mycelial growth will be or root like structure will be observed of the fungi and that root like structure of the fungi they absorb the nutrient and water from the soil okay so that structure is called as an the rhizomorph second one is the stroma second one is the stroma or stromata so stromata means what it is the compact mass of the hypi which are aggregate together or compact tissue that forms a flat plate or mass the hypi may be implanted intertwined have lost identity to form tissue that looks like parenchyma tissue of the plant called as an the pseudo parenchyma 
okay that means what the when the mycelium when it when it becomes fragmented or uh, broken into the small pieces so what happens here the tissue whatever the hypi it looks like so that hypi it looks like the parenchymatous tissue or it is a flat in structure which are aggregate together okay so uh, that structure it is very hard and woody or soft or fleshy depending on the type of the fungus that stroma or it is a compact hypi of the mass or a compact hypi of the uh, fungus so it is hard or woody or soft it may be depending on the type of the fungus so it is called as the stroma or stromata okay so mostly it is formed in the which fungus mostly claviceps fusiformis fungus as we know that in ergot disease whatever the structure is formed that structure is called as the stroma so it is an infectious structure of the fungus next one is this sclerosium so in very simple word the sclerosium is what a persist vegetative resting spores of the certain fungi mostly in botrytis sclerosium fungus it consists of hard dense compact mycelium okay so it is called as in the sclerosium that means if you observe the root of the some of the plants so what happens here the mustard like seed is observed as we see that in the picture what happens mustard like seed is observed where the infection of uh, fungi is takes place to the roots okay so this structure is called as the sclerosium morecha danacha akara sarke burshiche che kan tayar hotat kuta roots cha at madhe बरबर अस ज्यादा स्ट्रक्चर दिता स्क्लेरोशियम एकदम हार्ड आता है ओके सो इट इज हार्ड रेस्टिंग बॉडी ऑफ द फंगस समटाइम इट इज कॉल्ड एज इट इज अ हार्ड रेस्टिंग बॉडी ऑफ द फंगस जस्ट लाइक जस्ट लुक लाइक एन द सीड्स ऑफ मस्टार्ड सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज एन दी स्क्लेरोशियम देन विच आर द टाइप्स ऑफ द स्क्लेरोशियम सो वेरी सीम्पल मैसेलेजीनियस स्क्लेरोशियम दैट मीन्स वॉट इफ दी स्क्लेरोशिया और मस्टार्ड लाइक सीड जर्मिनेट directly into the mycelium that means what from that sclerosium from that seed like or mustard like seed of the fungus if after the germination of that sclerosium when there is a development of fungus or mycelium then it is called as in the mycelogenous okay so it is for example rhizoctonia solani rhizoctonia solani that means from the sclerosia after the germination of sclerosia that are converted into the mycelium the next one is carpogenous fungus uh, carpogenous sclerosium so carpogenous means what if this sclerosia germinate and gives rise to the spore fruit bearing stalks that means what after the germination of this sclerosia they produce the spore fruit they produce the spore fruit and inside the spore fruit different spores are produced inside the spore fruit different spores are produced then it is called as in the carpogenous sclerosium for example claviceps fusiformis that is called as an ergot of bajra and third one is sporogenous if the sclerosia germinate and it gives rise to the sporogenous spores that means from the sclerosia if the after the germination of the sclerosia if it is produces the different spores then it is called as an the sporogenous fungus or sporogenous sclerosia so very simple after the germination of sclerosia if the mycelium or when the sclerosia develop directly into mycelium it is called as mycelogenous sclerosium if the sclerosia produces the spore fruit bearing stalk then it is called as an carpogenous and if the sclerosia after the germination of sclerosia when it is produces the spores then it is called as an sporogenous sclerosium so it is very simple then second last is dormant mycelium in marathi it is called as an डॉर्मंट मीन्स वॉट संतृप्त अवस्था अपन अभी मन तो डॉर्मंट मे सुप्त अवस्था ओके सो डॉर्मंट मैसेलि मीन्स वॉट इट इज दी मैसेलिम विच हाइबरनेट इन दी होस्ट टिश्यू टू टाइड ओवर अनफेवरेबल कंडीशन दैट मीन्स वॉट एज वी नो दैट फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फंगस और मैसेलिम फेवरेबल कंडीशन इज रिक्वायर्ड लाइक फेवरेबल टेम्परेचर एटमोस्फेरिक ह्यूमिडिटी एप्टिम रेनफॉल और ऑप्टिम मॉइस्चर इज रिक्वायर्ड बट if such a favorable condition is not available in uh, environment so at that period what happens here what happens there is a modi some modification or fungi hibernate itself in the soil or in the different straw it may be wheat straw or paddy straw 
बरबर ल मै लमसिलम का करती वातावरण फेवरेबल कंडीशन नसलम लपन बसती कुट सॉइल मधे कि पैडी स्ट्रॉ मधे कि वीट स्ट्रॉ मधे लपन बसती ज्यास फेवरेबल कंडीशन येलतावेस पर जर्मिनेशन तर बरबर क्या हेला मन तो अपन टॉर्मंट मैसेलिम मजेस का दोज फंगस विच हाइबरनेट इन हाइबरनेट इन द सॉइल और इन द सीड्स और इन द डिफरंट स्ट्रॉ ऑफ द डिफरंट प्लांटिंग मटेरियल एंड वेन द फेवरेबल कंडीशन इज अराइजेस एंड इट जर्मिनेट रैपिडली सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज एन द टॉर्मंट मैसेलिम नेक्स्ट वन इज द जिमी लास्ट वन इज जिमी सो जिमी मीन्स वॉट दीज आर दी क्लाइमडोस्फोर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन लोअर फंगाय whose walls are thinner they are occur either singly or in the chain after maturity so jimmy is nothing but the it is a modification of fungus but it looks like the circular and thick structure will be produced as which is mentioned in uh, diagram and that each and every climatospores they are uh, attached together and after maturity what happens that climatospores are uh, released or they are detached from each other and each climatospores germinate itself okay individually so such a structure is called as in the jimmy hala apan kay manto jimmy so these are all the modification of the fungus for example kutle kutle modification bagitle apan rhizomorph first one is second one is sclerotium third one is prosenchyma fourth one is plectenchyma next one is pseudoparenchyma next one is the dormant mycelium and last one is the jimmy so these are the certain modification of the fungus okay so this is very simple topic okay so if you have any kind of queries or difficulty in that topic so you can ask okay so you can ask me personally okay thank you